On this week's Bold City Beat, two firefighters continue to recover after being brutally attacked with a box cutter while on duty. Earlier this week, Mayor Curry expressed his anger over the incident. The idea that we have men and women that, that go out to protect us every day and they're in a situation where they're trying to save lives and take care of people and um, frankly one of them has lost their life, another one got stabbed, it's just, it's outrageous. The suspect in the attacks was arrested and is being held on half a million dollars bond. Hello. Hello. We celebrated customer service appreciation week by saying thank you to the men and women who answer your calls and emails at 630 City. The mayor even dropped in to let them know that their service to the city of Jacksonville is truly invaluable. We will see it. Tuesdays are supposed to be a day off for the Jacksonville Jaguars, but not for wide receiver DJ Chark and linebacker Austin Calitro. Anytime you get a chance to help someone out, uh, I'm gonna say yes, you know. Uh, I wasn't really planning on doing much today anyway, so being out here helping out, uh, it's feel really good. The players spent their afternoon volunteering with Habajacks, helping build yet another affordable house in our community. And the annual Homeless Veterans Stand Down was a huge success. From free haircuts to clothes, resume help, a job fair, and much more. It was a great opportunity for veterans, transitioning military, and their families to connect with health providers and employers who are committed to supporting veterans. And that's this week's Bold City Beat.